Hey guys, got another figure review, 1-6 scale, uh, 17th Infantry Regiment, Kiska Task Force, 1943 figure, by, designed by Coswalt, a gearbox action, action figures, so this is a very neat figure I found on eBay. Um, I actually didn't know even uh, that this figure existed before. Um, and so this is what the front of the box looks like. This is uh, the side. Shows another look of this is what the figure would look like. How you could dress him. And then in the back, it tells you more what how the figure looks like. Comes with a stand. Um, comes with the rifle, all all this equipment, including the helmet. the The patches are already put on, so you don't have to worry about that. Also shows you other figures. Currently, I'm kind of looking for this pilot here. Um, yeah, the other figures, I'm not that interested in getting, uh, but that pilot looks, looks pretty cool. So, if I get down, I'll, I'll, I'll be pretty happy. Um, the top is kind of like, doesn't tell you, it tells you just the same stuff that's on the side. Um, if I open you the box, has some very nice artwork as well inside. Uh, I just left the stand inside. Uh, gives you some information about that division or uh, that regiment, I should say. And um, so that's also really cool. The figure is uh, has another drawing of. There's another drawing of the figure inside the box. So it's kind of similar to the dragon figures, except I think the box is actually a little more uh, stronger. But um, now I'm going to show you the figure himself. So this is him. And to me, he has a face kind of like Clint Walker from the, from the old Western show called Cheyenne. Um, but that's just me. Uh, the helmet has a uh, has this this uh, imitation leather strap. Um, I like the color tone. I think it's a little bit too small though, and in, in its height, it's it just fits kind of weird to me. Um, but like like I said, the patches are right on it. Um, the problem I've had was these pouches; they're just glued on. So you kind of have to be careful that they don't fall off. Uh, other than that, it's pretty cool. He also came with uh, a bayonet, which simple, but it doesn't come out of the sheet, which is unfortunately um, not very unfortunate, but um, but still it's cool. It actually has a strap, but that strap came off as well. Again, they, they use... Um, some simple glue and and so uh, that kind of was a little bit disappointing but I mean you can always fix that it's not too much of a problem he's wearing a beanie underneath his helmet um, which kind of like it shows in the in the box on the side of the box uh, if I take off just give me one second here I'm gonna take off his jacket a little bit so underneath his jacket let's see let the camera focus there right there you can see he has the suspenders so that's cool um, head sculpt is not too bad um, kind of better than the GI Joe in some ways the hands are the part where I think this this one loses the points um, they bend but they don't bend too well 
the dragon figures have better flexible hands than these. Um, also, the articulations. So it is, it's all right. It's pretty good, but um, it could be better. Then again, it's still. I mean, for, I mean, the price of it, which is about a little bit above sixty dollars, I think you could find them. Um, he's quite. He's quite good. Uh, nice boots. Comes with. Comes in with the rifle. The rifle has a leather strap. Uh, rifle is also designed kind of uh, very um, quick, you know, kind of cheaply made. Uh, but like you have, you have this the lever here could kind of move a little bit, but it's still kind of like has limitation in, in terms of how much it can move back and I kind of don't want to force it because I'm not I might break it but still it was, it was it's a pretty good figure if you if you're looking for stuff like this something like this uh, definitely recommend getting him um, if, if you're interested in some figure kind of like this um, yeah it's it's uh, up your alley you don't want to spend too much yeah, this is a neat, neat figure, and uh, but otherwise, uh, except for the little flaws here and there that I've pointed out, um, he's he's pretty cool. So so that's it with this review. Uh, hope uh, I'm gonna post another fig another figure review uh, later later on pretty soon. Oh, that's my dog. <laughs> yeah, it's my dog Duke here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright. Have a good one, guys. See you on the next one.